morning, everyone. It's Miss Rachel here with William Jean's Library Sensory Storytime, and I'm so glad you're here. You can see that I am, okay, making sure I'm live, that I'm inside the library, and the library is not open yet for you to come in and see us, but we are here, some of us, and we are getting ready to make some books available to you, hopefully pretty soon. So I thought it would be fun to do story time from inside our regular story time room. So welcome. We're gonna start with our welcome song and sing good morning to you all. Then I have a great book picked out for you. We'll do another song where we'll get moving a little bit. Then I have another great book picked out for you always. Then we'll do a scarf song shaker song, always the shaker song, and then I will blow some bubbles for you. So let's get started and we'll sing good morning. And I have some names of some friends that I know are tuning in, so we'll sing good morning to them. And if you are tuning in and I don't sing your name, it's just because I didn't know you later. But please know I'm very happy that you are there and I am singing to you as well. You ready? Let's start with our friend Luke. Hi, Luke. Let's all clap, cause Luke is here, Luke is here, Luke is here. Let's all clap, cause Luke is here, Luke is here today. Let's all clap, cause Clara is here, Clara is here, Clara is here. Let's all clap, cause Clara is here, Clara is here today. Let's all clap, cause Casey is here, Casey is here, Casey is here. Let's all clap, cause Casey is here, Casey is here today. Let's all clap, cause Finnegan is here, Finnegan is here, Finnegan is here. Let's all clap, cause Finnegan is here, Finnegan is here today. Let's all clap, cause Noah is here, Noah is here, Noah is here. Let's all clap, cause Noah is here, Noah is here today. Let's all clap, cause Penelope is here, Penelope is here, Penelope is here. Let's all clap, cause Penelope is here, Penelope is here today. I'm so happy you're here. Welcome to Sensory Storytime. Let's start with our first book. It's called No Kimchi. For me, it's by Aram Kim, and I'm going to read it to you with permission from the publisher, Holiday House. I'm going to come a little closer so you can see the pictures. Do you know what kimchi is? Some of you um, watching might know about kimchi, but if you don't, you're going to find out all about it. No kimchi for me. It's time for lunch. Everybody in this room is doing something different, aren't they? But they hear the call for lunch. Yumi loves grandma's dried seaweed, tiny anchovies, soft egg omelets, even her seasoned bean sprouts. There are the, um, those are fish, those are not the anchovies. I think they're too big. But there's the dried seaweed, and there's some vegetables, and here are the egg omelets. Some delicious things. But Yumi does not like stinky, spicy kimchi. You can't eat it because you're a baby, says June. Only big kids eat kimchi, says Yoon. I'll show them. Oh, no. Yuck! Baby, baby, the brothers tease. After lunch, June and Yoon don't let Yumi play. This game is not for babies. 
Oh, fair, Yumi says. Look at all the other things that she wants to do, and guess what they say? Not for babies. I'm not a baby, says Yumi, and I can prove it. Yumi has an idea. See this big jar? She gets it out of the fridge. It's kimchi. First, she tries to hide some kimchi on a chocolate chip cookie. Oh, well, that doesn't work. Then she tries to hide some on a slice of pizza. That doesn't work either. Ice cream doesn't work either. Ah, I hate kimchi, shouts Yumi. Grandma has a plan. They chop, pour, break, add, Stir and cook. Sizzle, 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 sizzle. Yoon smells something delicious. What's that? asks Yoon. Jun smells it too. What's that? asks Jun. It's a kimchi pancake. For our big girl, Grandma says. Yumi puts the fork to her mouth. I can do this, she says. Still spicy, she says. Gulp. But yummy! Look at this picture. They ate the kimchi pancake, and now her big brothers are letting her play. And they stopped calling her a baby. That wasn't very kind, was it, the way they were treating her? No, because she wasn't a baby. She was a big girl. And she did discover that she was old enough to eat kimchi. Kimchi is very spicy, especially if you are not used to eating spicy foods. This has a recipe in it for kimchi pancakes. Kimchi is a traditional Korean dish made of fermented vegetables and seasonings. The most popular kimchi is made of Napa cabbage and seasoned with salt, red chili pepper, garlic, ginger, and other spices. Kimchi is considered one of the world's healthiest foods. It's eaten as a condiment or side dish and is also used as an ingredient in stew, soup, fried rice, and of course, pancakes. There's some pictures of a whole bunch of different kinds of kimchi. Kimchi is a Korean food. And you might not have heard of it, you might not have tried it, but I hope that someday you will. It's delicious and it's really, really, really fantastic to try new things that you've never had before especially things that can help you learn about someone or a family or a place that is different than what you're used to. We all need to do a little bit more of that. So maybe someday you will try kimchi and it will be spicy, but you might like it. Just like Yumi finally did when she had it in a pancake. Thanks for reading that book with me, friends. It means it's time for another song. We are going to get moving a little bit. You ready? Let's all do a little clapping. Let's all do a little clapping. Let's all do a little clapping. That's story time. Let's all do a little patting. Let's all do a little patting. Let's all do a little patting. That's story time. Let's all do a little waving. Let's all do a little waving. Let's all do a little waving. at story time. This is a hard one. Let's all do a little snapping. Let's all do a little snapping. Let's all do a little snapping at story time. Let's all do a little wiggling. 
Let's all do a little wiggling. Let's all do a little wiggling at story time. Let's all do a little tapping. Let's all do a little tapping. Let's all do a little tapping at story time. Let's all do a little snuggling. Let's all do a little snuggling. Let's all do a little snuggling at story time. And you can do this one. I can't do it because I will jump right off the screen. But you can do this at home. We're going to jump. Let's all do a little jumping. Let's all do a little jumping. Let's all do a little jumping at story time. Let's all do a little kissing. Let's all do a little kissing. Let's all do a little kissing at story time. Yes. Lots of love for you all out there, my friends. And I have another book for you. This is a little bit of a silly one. It's called A Bear Sat on My Porch Today. I bet you never had a bear sit on your porch before, did you? The story is by Jane Yolen. And the art, the pictures, the illustrations are by Rilla Alexander. And I'm going to read it today with permission from Chronicle Books. And again, get a little closer so you can see the pictures. A bear sat on my porch today. Do you see our little friend in the book here? She's blue. She has blue skin. Does that mean anything is wrong with her? Nope. My skin's not blue, but it doesn't mean that I couldn't be good friends with this blue girl here. Let's find out about her and the bear on her porch. A bear sat on my porch today. A bear sat on my porch today and wanted to stay and wanted to stay. A bear sat on my porch today and wouldn't go away. What should I do? Boo! Shoo! Okay, okay, you can stay. Just don't scare my mommy. Urgh, no, I won't go. A squirrel sat on my porch today. His fur all gray, shaggy and gray. What should I do? Boo! Shoo! A nut and a seed is what I need. Okay, okay, you can stay. Only get away from the feeders. Do you know what she's talking about? Bird feeders. Did you ever see how the squirrels love to eat the bird's food out of the bird feeders? And the little girl says, you stay away from them. A squirrel sat on my porch today and wouldn't go away. A skunk sat on my porch today and started to spray and started to spray. Pew! Pew! Boo! Shoo! Just some perfume to clear the room. Okay, okay, you can stay, though you definitely can't come into the house. A skunk sat on my porch today and wouldn't go away. A possum sat on my porch today and started to play and started to play. A possum sat on my porch today Boo! Shoo! What should I do? Play dead! Play dead! Or sing instead, say the possums. Okay, okay, you can stay. Just don't squeak too loudly. She brought her family, eight in all. A passel of possums. Oh, what a sprawl. Did you know that? A group of possums is called a passel. A raccoon sat on my porch today and wanted to play and wanted to play. What should I do? Boo! Shoo! Glad you ask. Grab a mask. 
Okay, okay, you can stay. Just don't wake the babies. That raccoon sat on my porch today. He just wouldn't go away. A moose sat on my porch today. The porch began to shift and sway. What should I do? Boo, shoo. It may seem absurd, but you're my new herd, says the moose. Okay, okay, you can stay, but one meal a day is all you get. Look at the moose and the bear, high-fiving. A moose sat on my porch today and wouldn't go away. A jay sat on my porch today, a bright blue jay, a loudmouth jay. Boo! Shoo! What should I do? Squawk! Squawk! No rough talk. Let's follow the path of the blue jay. Are you ready? Flying all around, a jay sat on my porch today and wouldn't go away. Wait! Look out! Crash! Smash! Oh, help! Okay! The bear's gonna help. Bear grabbed a broom, squirrel a pail. Skunk carted over, hammer and nail. Possum brought wood from barn and shed. Oh, how am I going to fit this all on the page? Well, let's finish this part first. This is tricky. Raccoon splashed paint, green and red. Moose gave the floorboards a very good shine. And then it was time for us to dine. So I made lunch for my hard working bunch, except of course that loudmouth Jay, cause he'd already flown far away. We're awfully sorry you didn't stay. Bye. Goodbye, Mr. Jay. Well, I'm not sorry to see him go. He left an awful mess, you know. Bye. Yum. Where did the J go to eat? To the bird feeder. I'm going to see if I can show you all these pages. All right, here we go. We'll start here. What a big giant porch party with all the friends except the J. There they are, enjoying the porch on a nice sunny day. Boo! Shoo! That's what her little sign says. But then she changed her mind and she let everybody stay. And there was a moose and a bear and a squirrel and a raccoon and a girl with blue skin and they all enjoyed each other's company didn't they it was a little crazy but they all helped each other if you check out that book once the library is open again you might be able to see the pictures a little better you can spread out all those pages and you'll be able to enjoy those pictures better than on the screen Porch parties, the best, says Miss Lorraine. Hi, Miss Lorraine. We're going to do a song with scarves. And I am here at the library.
and I have a story time scarf, but you are not at the library. So if you don't have a scarf, that's okay. You can use this kind of scarf, any kind of scarf that you have to put around your neck, but it is getting a little hot for scarves. So they might already be packed away, but that's okay. You could use a cloth napkin. Maybe you don't have cloth napkins, that's okay too. You could use a t-shirt. You could use a tissue. All kinds of things that you could use for a scarf, for our scarf song. So, I'm gonna use this one and we are ready. We wave up high like this. We wave up high like this. With our friends at story time, we wave up high like this. We wave down low like this. We wave down low like this. With our friends at story time, we wave down low like this. We wave slowly like this. We wave slowly like this. With our friends at story time, we wave slowly like this. And you know what that means? What comes after slowly? We wave really fast like this. We wave really fast like this. With our friends at story time, we wave really fast like this. We wave side to side. We wave side to side. With our friends at story time, we wave side to side. We wave up and down. We wave up and down. With our friends at story time, we wave up and down. We wave around and around, we wave around and around. With our friends at story time, we wave around and around. Good job. You can keep waving your scarf if you like, but we are gonna get moving and we are gonna do the shaker song. Anything can be a shaker. A little container with any kind of grain. This has quinoa, dried beans in a water bottle, rice in little water bottles. You know those are my favorite. So I'm going to use those and let's get our shaker song queued up with whatever you have to shake. We are going to do it. Shake it, shake it, everybody, shake it. Shake it, shake it, everybody, shake it. Shake it, shake it, everybody, shake it. Come on and shake it with me. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your tummy. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your tummy. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your tummy. Come on and shake it with me. Come on, shake it. Shake it with me. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your knees. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your knees. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your knees. Come on and shake it with me. Come on, shake it up. Come on, shake it down. Come on, shake it all around. Shake it anywhere you want. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it on your head. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your head. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your head. Come on and shake it with me. 
Shake it, shake it, shake it on your elbow. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your elbow. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your elbow. Come on and shake it with me. Oh, good job, my friends. It is always so fun to do the shaker song with you. And that means there's only one thing left for us to do today. You know what it is, don't you? Blow bubbles. So if you have bubbles at home, you can blow them along with me. If you're not allowed to blow bubbles inside, you can take some bubbles outside. If you don't have any bubbles at home, you can watch the bubbles that I'm going to blow for you. Blow across your screen and see if you can touch them with your finger. There are bubbles in the air, in the air. There are bubbles in the air, in the air. There are bubbles in the air, there are bubbles everywhere. There are bubbles in the air, everywhere. There are bubbles way up high, way up high. There are bubbles way up high, way up high. There are bubbles way up high, there are bubbles in the sky. There are bubbles way up high in the sky. There are bubbles way down low, way down low. There are bubbles way down low, way down low. There are bubbles way down low. And they tickle on your toes. There are bubbles way down low on your toes. And the bubbles say goodbye. Say goodbye. And the bubbles say goodbye. Say goodbye. And the bubbles say goodbye. Say goodbye until next time. And the bubble say goodbye till next time. Bye bye, bubbles. And goodbye to you, my friends. Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope that I will see you again next week.